Welcome to the weekly dose. B'Shem Hashem Na'asev and Asliyah. There's a story told about the Pene Menachem. He was the previous Gera Chassid, Gera Rebbe. The story is that he received a book as a gift from his father, a book of parables. Now the difference between this parable book and other parable books was very simple. Parables, essentially, are a story, an example of sort, and after this story, you have the lesson of the story, the lesson to be learned from the parable. This book did not have a lesson. The point was that the reader themselves had to really ponder the story, the parable, to figure out what the message of the story actually is. And the Pnei Menachem was extremely good at this, and he loved this book. He read the stories over and over, and sometimes he even, in fact, had many different outcomes from different parables, many different lessons, except for one. He read one story many times, and he could not figure out what the lesson could possibly be. The story goes as follows. There was a king that had a prince, and one day the king announces that his prince has been engaged, and he sends out letters to all of his people, his villagers, people living in the cities, that he wants people to bring gifts in honor of his prince. And people would love the idea. The only problem was the villagers didn't have enough money. They didn't know what to do. How was a villager going to impress the king's son, the prince? A lot of villagers were very depressed. One villager has an idea. Risky, but if it would work, it would be amazing. It would have a great payoff. He goes to the store to buy a set of china, very expensive set. And he asks the owner, he says, listen, Bring me the most expensive china set that you possibly can find. But I don't want a whole set. I want a broken set. Maybe someone dropped it or it was defective. That's what I'm looking for. And the store owner, happy enough to bring his, his broken set that he couldn't sell anyway, and he sells it to him dirt cheap. While he was waiting for his gift to be wrapped, he was so happy that he's found a beautiful china set that was broken that he's going to pass off to the king and who's going to know? The king's going to open it or the prince is going to open it and what they're going to think is it probably broke on the way here by handling, shipping and handling. So what are you going to do? Call customer service. Comes the day of the wedding, everyone's happy, everyone's dancing, the villagers dancing, enjoying his food at the wedding hall. Middle of the wedding, guards come and take the villager, put him in jail. And they tell him, tomorrow comes, you'll be able to beg for your life from the king himself. Now he's sitting in his cell thinking to himself, how could he have known that I sold him, a, uh, that I gave him a broken set? I mean, it's impossible. The next day he comes before the king and the king tells him, how dare you? How dare you bring me a broken set? He says, my dear king, I'm not even going to argue. I just want to know. How did you know it was a broken set? He says, well, you fool. Whoever wrapped it, wrapped each piece of the broken set individually. And the Pnei from reading this parable over and over, couldn't figure out what could be the lesson of the story. So he goes to his father and he asks him for help. And his father gives him a profound message. He says to him, the message is, just like when a villager goes to the king, we go to our king every single day. We talk to him. We tell him our problems. And what the king, our God, Hashem Ribbono Shalom, asks of us is, don't wrap your sorrows. I don't want anything sugar-coated. I don't need anything wrapped. Open up to me. Tell me your problems as you feel them. I want the whole package deal. I'm not just your father. I'm a friend, and I'm here to listen. Baruch Adonai le'olam, amen ve'amen.